everyone and welcome back to Horse Haven. We are here in our Montana ranch where I've got some very exciting news. Oh my goodness. So it has been quite some time and I have been working hard in the background to get our horses leveled up and we are almost ready to see several of our horses off to new homes in exchange for diamonds. So many diamonds and there's so many amazing things that you can purchase for diamonds as well. But let's go ahead and do our farm chores really quick. Oh, look at that. We just completed a little quest. Oh, and oh, we've got so many new things to show you guys. So let's come over here and open up our new feed station. It has been upgraded. We've got tons and tons of food that we can harvest up in a little bit. Let's finish gathering up all of these coins. Let's clean out our paddock. Ah, oh, just the nice little routine chores that help us keep our ranch looking nice. Whoops. And we're already looking at the mail. So, other horse farm owners, other farm, <laughs> yeah, other horse farm owners have visited your village and want to be your friend. So, this is another unknown person whose favorite horse is Vanessa, a Virgo, one of the beautiful Virgo horses. All right. Ooh, and let's see. Your friends visited your village. Chandra, unknown, unknown. Michaela, Carlos, and unknown, or Charlotte, I think, unknown. Thank you guys so much for visiting. And then, whoops, let's see who else is here. All right, passed up in the Australian steeplechase. Video available to view. Ooh, 1,500 coins for being hired as a stable hunt. Thank you so much, you guys. Oh, look at this. 22,080 coins for social breeding rewards. Oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and claim those. And we got a helping hand from Michaela, Charlotte, unknown and unknown. So that could be any of you guys. So thank you so much for stopping by and helping me grow my crops. Let's see, and Chandra, unknown, unknown, unknown. Michaela and Charlotte, thanks for stopping by and petting our horses. All right, let's see, I wanna make sure I get them. All the little, there you go, okay, there you go, Mel. Ah, finally. Whew, I can actually see what's going on down here again. All right, let's finish cleaning out the paddock really quickly. All right, and then one more. There, now we've got a clean paddock, and we can take just a second so I can show you guys what has been going on here on the Montana Ranch. I haven't done too many upgrades recently, but you can see how we've got the paths going up to the greenhouses with trees, or with plants, I should say. No trees, but we have gigantic cactuses that are even bigger than trees. So those count, those count, they're pretty cool. They've been there for a while. And I thought we could move the stables, but I haven't figured out how to move the stables, so I'm beginning to think maybe that's not a thing so I'm gonna see if we can get the path to kind of connect down here and then move the path down and have it come along the stables here let's see I can't move the storage either so those things are kind of locked in place but we're gonna to try to work around that to kind of get the paths laid out and we might turn this into like a giant garden of some kind so we might do that let's see we could get more feed mills but I don't think we really need them Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot that's why we're collecting gemstones because there are limited edition items that we can actually purchase right now, which include pretzel fences, which would be adorable to put around the bakeries in France. Wouldn't that be the cutest thing? And a tall cuckoo clock. So those may not be things to decorate our Montana ranch, but they sound so adorable to decorate some of our other areas. So we need to go see if we can get more, more sapphires and rubies. But yeah, we could put down horse statues, wooden fences, swing sets, a nice pretty red rock. I would not be opposed to a large red rock in the yard. More cactuses, a car wreck. Let's see, which I don't know why you'd want to decorate with a car wreck in the yard, but I guess it's like stylish country. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll think about it. I don't know if I want to put a car wreck in the yard. <laughs> And then, of course, there's just tons of cactuses. I could see us putting in a bunch of cactuses, like a little junction sign, a dirt road, meandering through the cactuses like we have our own little cactus garden. I don't know, guys. I think we're probably going to do a cactus garden. That's my guess. And we're almost to the point where we can get the old windmill and the white rock to decorate the area with, too. So we've got plans for over here. And then the horses are almost ready. Like I said, a few of them are almost ready to start seeing off and watching them go off to a new home at level 10 in exchange for the diamonds we need to continue growing our ranches throughout the world. And one of those is this guy who is a surprise newbie. 
This is Felipe, and you guys have not met him before because he was actually purchased to complete a daily quest where we needed to raise a horse to level five, and I didn't have enough time to breed our own horse, so I purchased Felipe from the market, and I figured he's actually really easy to level up because he is a tier one, very easy, basic, common horse, and so I figured why not just go ahead, raise him up to level 10, and see if he's worth diamonds at level 10. And we are almost there. I bet giving him those muffins would actually do it. So that would be exciting. So that was a different way. If we can actually raise him to level 10, he would have been the easiest to raise up to level 10 out of all of the horses. And so we might actually start purchasing some of the lower tier horses from the market over here. They're not often available. Often we'll get like these guys, like the Lestinos. There's an American paint. You know, um, a female American paint, which we actually need. But here's a little, like, and Andalusian right here. So we could purchase the little Andalusian, raise them up uh, until he hits level 10, and then sell them. So we could, like, raise baby horses for specialty markets. So there's an idea. Oh, Mr. Safari Man, what are you trying to offer us? A rare hackney for 280 coins. Well, interesting. I think we're going to pass it up because I do not have that many coins. And we're not really trying to breed a hackney right now. What we are trying to breed, and we will try to breed them hopefully today, is another one of our beautiful American warm blood. So let's come in and see how... Yeah, Redwood, how are you doing? You're almost level 10, buddy. So we need to get a female version of Redwood bred up from Willow and Cloud here over here in our little breeding house so that hopefully we can start breeding up to the tier 3 American warm bloods. That's one of our goals. Also, I didn't know we were out of out of the feed that he needed. So let's go ahead. Oh, I need more grass. Whoops. All right. All right. Hang on. Hang on. I'm going. I'm going. All right. We'll get these wheats out of the way. Oh, and we'll check on the daily quest. I think we're almost done with them. Because I came on to run some steeplechases earlier. And I think we, like, managed to almost complete the daily quest. So, alright. Let's check out the quest. See what's going on here. Ooh, we've completed a lot of these ones. So we have bought one mill horse. We own a level 5 stable in Montana. And that's true. Look at Willow's new stable. It is, like, two stories. It is stripped out. It's got, like, three beautiful stone troughs in the front. Basically, she has a really tremendous... And I don't think the inside looks any different. It's going to look the same. Yeah, the inside looks exactly the same, but the inside still looks stunning, if you ask me. So she has got her two-story stable. So that, whoops, ah, I'm clicking all the wrong stuff. Okay, hang on. There we go. So we can claim that. We have harvested 10 cherry feeds. We have run 12 steeplechases. We own a level 5, 5 bakery in France now. I'll have to show that to you guys. We own 6 stables in Montana. And we're working on many, many, many of these other quests. And we'll have just unlocked more. Eh, eh. Sell four cherries. Yeah, we'll have just unlocked more quests because of that. So that'll be fun. And daily quests. So like I thought, we have almost completed all of these guys. So collect 800 coins in the Russian steeplechase. Did that earlier. Feed horse six times in the French, the French ranch. Totally did that. So we're good there. Collect 1,000 coins. We've managed that. And harvest eight green feeds. We have done that. And now we just need to sell seven yellow feeds. And just like that, we will be on our way to the new daily quest reward. And I actually have the one. I'm going to show it to you guys. I have one of these special rewards. And it is amazing. And I can't wait to show it to you. It's over in Germany. So we'll see it in Germany in just a minute. Let me go down. <gasps> Do I really not have any? Oh, yellow feeds, you startled me. I thought I was out of you. All right, seven yellow feeds, just like that. That completed quest, that completes the quest, yes. All right, let's see if we have a pretzel or some mustard. Or, or you know, a bratwurst. And the answer is mustard. <laughs> there we go, so we can complete that. What, oh, there we go. And now we have six more days of collecting the daily quest before we have another special item that we can get. So that's super exciting. All right, let's see what's going on down here. I don't think, can I feed you, Cloud? Can I feed you at least? I just wanna make sure we feed who we can. Oh, Cloud's gonna be level nine. Now we won't be selling Cloud for a long time because I'm absolutely in love with the spot, the spotted horses. Man, well, are you? Does the Walaria get up to mythic level? If the Walaria gets up to mythic level, I want I want Walarias. Because they're just gorgeous. I love these spots. It reminds me of my Merle Great Dane. That's what happens. My Merle, pretty, pretty Merle Great Dane. 
Only on a horse. Well, really, a Merle Great Dane and a horse with that coloring. They're almost the same size, it seems. <laughs> All right, we'll be back, Cloud. You're almost ready for some granola. And let's go see if we can head over and get some carrots for Felipe. And, oh yeah, we need to start up. There we go. Let's get the feed generating so that we can have enough feed to give to... Who is... What's his name again? I feel really guilty. Oh, to our American warm blood, Redwood. That's right. Enough feed to give to Redwood so he can keep leveling up too. I figure I might as well start working on trying to level up the horses now rather than waiting till we're done breeding them. So then when it's time to start moving horses pretty quickly, we can just start doing that. For example, this lovely lady right here, I don't think I'm going to be able to level her up now. Dang it, I need to make some yellow feed too. But yeah, this lovely lady right here is almost level 11. And as soon as she hits level 11, we will actually be selling her for 60, 60 diamonds, guys. 60 whole diamonds, oh my goodness. And Nova, you've been amazing. But that's one of our goals. And then let's see, can we feed her brother? Sunny, what about you? Yes, yeah, Sunny is also level level eight. So let's go ahead and give him some apple cookies. They look freaking adorable, by the way. I love the look of those apple cookies. There you go. Lots of wonderful experience for you. Oh, and he wants to go out to the paddock in a little bit. That's awesome. All right, we'll take care of that too. So I need to get more yellow feed as well. Uh, do I need more corn? Okay, got enough here. Do I have enough here? I have enough here. And, oh, it takes an hour to make? Oh my gosh. Uh, well, that sounds like something a Leo would request, something that takes so long. Oh, and we need to check on the achievement. Homestead. Own five level 10 horses at the same time and claim that. Yeah, we're doing good. And we're almost ready. In fact, today we're going to try breeding, but we might have enough money to actually expand in into this area and clear out every single spot in the Montana Ranch, which would be amazing. All right, so enough of being in the U.S. Let's pop over to France, and I will show you guys what's going on over here with our brand new bakeries. Pretty darn proud of them. Do 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 do. Da da. Oh, so pretty. All right, and we'll go ahead and collect all of the coins. We'll come over and do our chores really quickly. Got to clear out the paddock so that it's nice and clean. And then you can see we actually have Primrose up out of the Grand Stable, which we have expanded. Let's unveil the new Grand Stable, you guys. Okay, ready for this? And ta-da! Isn't it so pretty? Look at it. I really, really like it. I really do. I really can't wait till we can clear this area out. In fact, we kind of could. I'm going to save the money for now because we still have that one spot left in France that we need to clear out. But we, I want to clear this out and um, maybe move the apple trees a little bit closer. Maybe get some more of the decorations that are unique to France. Oh, we could add some more bakeries. Maybe add some more bakeries down here. Make a cute little bakery area with like paved, paved stone roads. But yeah, we can work on that. Um, but the Grand Stable now ho holds quite a few more horses. Let me see. Does it have a horse list? Not right here. Um, does it have the list here? Yeah, so we can hold up to 15 horses now, you guys, which is wonderful news for if we need to keep more horses aside. Right now, I don't think we need our Dutch Harness Primrose, but we don't really, we're not desperate for diamonds. So after we finish raising her to level 10, we'll probably put her back in. Leo's, Lionheart the Leo is out, or Lion Star, excuse me, the Leo is out uh, as well, but we're not going to sell him. He's just out because, you know, the stable space isn't being used for anything else right now. And he's very useful to earn lots of points by taking him out and running him quite often. Uh, running him in the steeplechases, because Leos are really good at running steeplechases. Alright, and we have some new pumpkin cake, pumpkin pie cake from the bakery. We have some cookies, and we have these beautiful new bakeries. I mean, look at this, you guys. Aren't these so pretty? I love them. So we've got these gorgeous level five bakeries that can basically cook practically anything, it seems. I'm going to go ahead and let these... Oh, no, I'm out of wheat. Dang it. But I'm going to go ahead and let these work. Can I make more cookies? Nope. Can't make more cookies. Can I make more granola? Nope. My goodness, I need to make more wheat. That's what I need. I could make more cookies if I just harvested these. All right, then come over here. And more cookies. There we go. 
And speaking of cookies, let's come over and feed, feed Primrose a couple cookies. Oh, actually, I don't need to because you're already level 10. Congratulations, Primrose. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Maybe I want to start breeding some of the horses up. So she has a value of 41 diamonds for being a rare Dutch harness. So we're going to keep her for now because, well, no, actually, I guess we could sell her. No offense meant, Primrose. It's just we have April the 3rd now. We do, and April the 3rd is right down here, and she is actually also a Dutch Harness. She looks nothing like the Tier 1 Dutch Harness, but she is a Tier 3 Dutch Harness, and she's absolutely gorgeous, worth 78 diamonds, but we're probably never going to sell her, and she wants a lot of red feed. Really? Well, okay, she is going to be our champion, and check this out, guys. We did get a better jump with her, so I raised her up to level 11, and we had the little mystery will roll by where you have the opportunity to either get some coins or some feed or a new trait for your horse, and we got the trait! We got the trait, we were super lucky, and now she has a better jump, so that is really wonderful. All right, then we're going to come over here. All right, we'll go ahead... I was, I was being too tight-fisted in the past, trying not to give him all this expensive feed. But if you want to get the results, you have to feed him, even though that's super expensive, 421 experience. Oh, oh now you just want cherries, a little cherry on top of dessert? That's adorable. All right, we'll be back, April. But yeah, April's great to take out on runs right now. Primrose, we don't really need to feed up again. Um, and actually, yeah, I guess we could sell her. But you guys get so sad when we sell the horses. So I'll tell you what. We're, we're going to put Primrose away into the Grand Stable, and then should the time come, or, like, is that April, actually? Oh, that's, oh, there she is, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then should the time come when Primrose, uh, is, when we need a bunch of diamonds, then we'll pull Primrose out. Or should the time come where we need more space in the, uh, Grand Stable, then we'll pull her out. But we'll keep her for now, because we don't really need the diamonds for anything special at the moment. Oh, but we do need more cherries for you, April the 2nd! Alright, so hang on. Alright, so let me gather up some of this honey. As you can see, we have a level 2 beehive now, which is fantastic. And, whoops, okay, got the bees all excited. And now, finally, we are off to Germany, you guys, where we have some surprises. I'm super excited. Oh my goodness. All right, so here we are in our little Germany ranch, and we have made a little bit of progress, not a ton, but a little bit of progress, constructing the little carnival. Uh, we have more of the mustard that we can serve up to all of our workers. We are almost halfway there on a lot of the things, maybe, maybe almost halfway there. Uh, we definitely need more cherries, so let's go ahead, pick the cherries from these cherry trees. There we go, pick some more cherries. Very nice, very nice. How many cherries do we get? You get four cherries a harvest. All right, and let's see, maybe a little bit more grapes. There we go, there we go. Nice fresh grapes. We can get some grape feed started back here. All right, and then we have Charm, who is in a very beautiful upgraded stable. Oh, and you want some grass? Okay, I'll be back with more, more grass for you, Charm. But I would like to try breeding Charm against somebody today as well, so we could see some results. Um, let's go ahead. I want to gather these up. There we go. And we might want to upgrade this. Oh, I can't upgrade the storage. Never mind. Yeah, we want to work on that in a little bit. So let's go ahead and do do do. <gasps> oh, ruby! Yes. All right. So we got some rubies. How many gemstones does that give us now? We have zero sapphires, but we have seven pearls and three rubies now. So I'm not sure. I guess we would need to... <gasps> we can upgrade the mine, you guys! Upgrade it to level two. Upgrade the mine to unlock new dig tools and the new items. Okay, so we're going to upgrade the mine. That is super exciting. What, is it, what did it take to rush that? 24 coins? Not worth it. And then our little mini mine, which has been quite active. We just set the tools to going towards again. I have collected a couple pearls from the mini mine, but mostly, mostly coins. So it's fun to have the mini mine uh, constantly going. And then let's come down here and do our little horse quiz. So we're going to take the three quiz questions of the day to see if we can get enough mustard, bratwurst, and pretzels to take over to the workers who are building our carnival. So let's see what the horse-related questions are, and hopefully I'll do better than I normally do. All right. Equestrianism debated in the Summer Olympics in France during which year? 1950, 1900, or 1990? Um... 
horses were a big thing way back, but maybe 1950? Ah, oh, it was 1900. Of course it would be way back. Oh, I feel so bad. Okay, well, I learned how long it's been around now. The American Cream is a very rare horse breed from the U.S. Where is it from? Vermont, Iowa, or Wisconsin? Um, um, Vermont, maybe? Or Wisconsin? Vermont? No, it's Iowa. I wouldn't have guessed Iowa. <laughs> Dang it. We're not going to have anything to take. Which of these is not a subtype of the Bolivar's hmm, horse breed? Huh. Um, this one? I was guessing on all of those. Okay, so the thing is, why well, get upset when you get quiz questions wrong? At least we have learned something new. So I learned something new, Charm. I have no food for the carnival workers, and we're still only halfway to building the carnival. But I have more, more information about them now. All right, so last things we're going to do, let's go back to the Montana Horse Ranch really quickly. And we do want to try to breed up a female American Warm Blood because the American Warm Bloods are one of our goals to get. Uh, because we decided that we wanted to at least try to get a tier three. Might as well continue on uh, that little achievement or that little goal that we have. All right, and let's go ahead. We're going to let this little guy out. So off you go. You s go out to free room. I hope you have a great time, Sonny. Yeah, look at his beautiful lion tattoo. That is just gorgeous. All right, so he is off to go free roam, and that should make him super happy. Woo! Experience for him! We take good care of our horses here. And then let's go ahead and see if I can feed you some granola. All right, Cloud, you've got some granola coming up. You're about to go into the... Oh, man, I love the Willarias. You, are, my friend, are about to go back into the breeding house, so we want to try to get what we can done on him. And then we're going to come over here, and we are going to give it a go. We are going to try... Well, actually, should we just breed with, um... Breed with, uh, let's see. Where is he? If we breed with the American Warmblood, do we have a better chance? I don't think we do. Okay, we're going to do an experiment. We're going to breed with our American Warmblood. And we're going to breed with Willow. And we're going to see if we have a better chance of getting an American Warmblood. Um, so let's go ahead and try this out. Alright, so the options are an American Warmblood female, which is what we're going for. Or a Rocky Mountain. Or a Frisian. That's not what we're going for. So I think the results are probably close to the same. So we need this one right here. We need this beautiful female American warm blood. That's what we're going for. So cheer on for the blue, you guys. Come on, blue. Come on, blue. Come on, blue. Come on, blue. Blue, blue, blue. Okay. Come on, blue, blue, blue. No, keep going. No, no. Ah, all right. Well, we'll have a new little Frisian with us pretty soon. Um, and that's not the one we need, but we'll take good care of her and see her on her way. Might even raise her up to level 10 if this little guy is out of here by then, too. So we'll work on that. And let's see. I'm going to let Cloud... Whoops. I'm actually going to let Cloud over here go ahead and free roam for a little while because he can gain quite a bit of experience doing that. And then let's go back over to Germany. And I want to breed a charm against something. I don't know what, but we're going to find a male something and breed charm. And just see what results, because we are totally new on these German horse breeds. And I want to see more of what they could have to offer. So here's Barrett. Let's come over to Barrett's Germany ranch and see what is offered here. Maybe we'll find a good stud for charm. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there's just a baby! There's just a cute little baby Irish sport. Aww. Okay, so no studs here, but that was really cute. So a little teeny baby. Um, let's come over to Michael and see what's going on over here. Maybe we'll find another another horse, maybe? Or baby? Oh, here we go. So what are you, my friend? A Woodenburger female! Okay, so not quite what we're going for. They're also working on building their carnival right now. Oh man, it is like so hard sometimes to find a good horse to, to breed your horses with. We have lots of friends to pick from, thankfully, so it's going to be a little bit interesting. Ooh, hello! 
female American paint. <laughs> oh, and we can help out here. Oh, I haven't managed to help out with someone's gardening before. How fun. So we can water the plants. Well, that's fun. And a beautiful female American paint, might I say, but not quite what we're looking for. Oh my gosh, you guys. There has to be another one somewhere here. Come on, just one more horse. That's all we need. There's nobody here! But the breeding houses everywhere are so busy. That's so funny. Like, all of us are getting excited. Like, okay, we've got to start the breeding houses going. See what kind of German horses we have. But it makes it difficult. Oh, are you a male? No, it's another female. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, wait, there's a poppy. Uh, oh, oh! This person has, like, a, a customized avatar. I didn't know we could do that. Let's see what she's got hiding over here. Dun 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 dun! Maybe there's a male. It'd be sad if it was a male Irish sport, but I guess it would be- Oh my goodness! Oh, look at all these guys! <gasps> oh! <gasps> a Jotland! A male Jotland! There we go! We found someone! And he's handsome! Come here, Charm! Come here! I think you're gonna like the, this result, Charm. Okay, we're gonna come over and breed them. And the results that we can have are a Jotland female. Or we could have another Irish sport, or the two combined could give you a Wittenberger. Okay, well this is interesting. I kind of really like, uh, like, yeah, look at the stats on this one. So this time we are cheering on the yellow, you guys, but I have a feeling we'll probably get another Irish sport, but that's okay. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Come on, yellow. Oh, stop, stop, stop. <gasps> no way, we got her. All right, yes. That's what I wanted! Oh, this is so exciting! So we will have a newborn being added over into our German area pretty soon. Oh, and I can unlock a new stable over there. That is fantastic. <gasps> and you guys, I forgot the best part. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I've been so long-winded today, but I forgot the best part. We did get that new gift from the Daily Quest Rewards. And let me go ahead and pull it on out to show you guys. So you guys are ready for this amazingness? Look at it! It's a royal carriage! It's a royal freaking carriage! Isn't that the coolest thing ever? So this is the decorative item that we won for completing five daily quest sets in a row. And I really, really like it. So actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put it away. And we're gonna go back over to France. And we're gonna decorate the exterior of the, um, of the grand stable with this royal carriage because I feel like it would be perfect. Wouldn't it be perfect here? It just looks like it would fit in so perfectly. All right. And my horses are craving cherries. I'm actually gonna go ahead, let us clear this region out, even though that was a little bit of money because I wanna scoot this back a little bit. And then we can even pick up the apple trees and kind of move them over here to apple tree. Okay, let's do there we go. And then we're gonna pick up this apple tree and kind of move it over here. Um, and maybe back a little bit. There we go. And, whoops, okay, no, no, not you, not you, Grand Stable. Okay, that may not have been the best idea for where to move the apple tree, there we go. So we can get the apples growing on the apple tree and we're gonna grab this. Where's our royal carriage? And we're gonna put the royal carriage right outside the grand stable, like so. And voila, just imagine a little pathway leading away from here. And I think that this is gonna be quite the attractive little little design once we get it going. So there we go, you guys. We've got new foals on the way in both Germany and in Montana. Unfortunately, the Montana one isn't the one we were going for, but the German one is brand new, so we can look into that breed. We are still working on getting our champion, our beautiful April the 3rd, up to a higher level, but she's doing very well. Um, and goodness, yeah, there's just new horses new quests, new events, and I can't wait to share more of it with you guys. So next time we'll have an upgraded mine and we'll be able to try to get more of the rare gemstones and hopefully we'll have more progress on our carnival. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye!